Hey everybody, I'm going to do something that's totally unusual today. Usually when you hear from somebody selling real estate, it's always the same thing. You can't sell it yourself. Well, I'm here to say today that maybe you can sell it yourself. So let's go through some of the steps that you can go through to sell your home yourself and save a little bit of commission. Hey everybody. It's Eric Hudson out here in Las Vegas. My call sign is Nuke. I served in the military for over 20 years. That helmet back there did not come out of a Cracker Jack box. That was my flight helmet in the Air Force. I'm here to serve you with a little bit of knowledge today, especially those who have been thinking about selling their homes themselves. So first of all, let's get the cat out of the bag and talk about the most important thing. And that's your price. Well, a lot of times when people try to sell their homes themselves, the first mistake that they make is they overprice their homes. Now, I know a lot of realtors are going to come to you and say, hey, you're not going to be able to sell your home because of X, Y, and Z. And a lot of sellers having pride in their homes will start talking about what's so special about it. Well, what's special about your home is what was special to you when you purchased the home or when you did the upgrades that you feel that you need to get the money out of. The most important thing that you need to do is set a competitive marketing price. Most of the time when I look at it, when I look at someone who's trying to sell their home themselves, they have overpriced the home and then wonder why they're not getting the results that they want. The results that you will want will come when you set a market price. So what you need to do is go to every source Find out what your home is actually worth and get out of the mindset of this is what I want for the home. This is why over 90% of people who try to sell themselves end up with a real estate agent. If you start with this, with your end in mind, which is to sell your home, you can actually achieve that. So you need to set your price. And the price is not from Zillow or or Redfin or any place else, those sources are a great start, but they haven't been in your home. They don't know the upgrades you made and they know really know nothing about your neighborhood. It is all based upon an algorithm. So what you need to do is find out what homes sold in your neighborhood and what they actually sold for especially other private sales. And that's another thing you have to look at, private sales. So if you're lucky enough to live in an open record state like we have here in Nevada, you can actually go to the tax records and see who sold and what they actually sold for. Many people have been surprised, especially when they say, oh, my neighbor sold their home and they got 500,000. And then when you go into the tax records, you'll see they actually sold 450. They just wanted to brag that, they got 500,000. I've seen this many times. And don't fall into the trap that when I bring up what their neighbors actually sold for when they sold it privately, they'll go, oh, um, some other money must have changed hands someplace. So um, I know they got 500,000. No, they, they wanted to impress you. So go out there, find the best price that's going to sell. Here's a tip. If your house hasn't sold in two weeks, the market has spoken. So what your next uh, option is, is to reduce and reduce quickly. The longer you hold out saying, I want my price, the less likely you are to get it. Even in a rising market, what's going to happen is if it's been sitting on these sites for weeks and months at a time, people are going to offer less for them. That's what investors do. They go out and look for people who've been trying to sell for themselves because maybe they hate real estate agents or something. And then they offer them low ball offers. It's also why you'll see a lot of real estate agents who are contacting you because you're on these sites like, you know, for sale by owner on Zillow or make me move. It's because they know if you've overpriced your home, you're going to have a difficult time selling it. The next thing you need to think about is your advertising. Yes, you have to advertise. And I don't mean put a sign in your front yard that says home for sale by owner. 
you're going to need to put something into it. This may include up to an open house. So uh, the way you need to run an open house is you need to go and purchase or borrow open house signs that are going to lead to your home. Put out the maximum number of signs that you can and set a great date. So good days are of course, Saturdays and Sundays, uh, usually from about one to four, noon to three, something like that, where you're gonna get the most traffic coming in. And if you know that there's gonna be an open house in the neighborhood, um, here's a little hint for you, capitalize on it. All you gotta do is put out a few signs in front of your house, pointing to it, open house, open house. Yeah, that's what you gotta do because that's get you traffic. Also, get onto the major sites, uh, not just the Zillow's, there's uh, Force Owner Bicom and all these other places. Get into these and they'll help you. And something I'm gonna do is down below, I'm going to link a book that goes through all of this so you can sell your home yourself. Free, gratis, I'm not gonna come and harass you, okay? So what are your other advertising options? Believe it or not, you can put it in the MLS. There are plenty of services out there that will list your home in the MLS. Go ahead, avail yourself of them. You're not dealing with the agent. They're gonna have you sign paperwork that says you're gonna do everything yourself. So that's what you want it, right? Do it yourself. Now, here's the warning I have to give you. Here's where your buyers for, for sale by owner come from. Either other realtors are going to bring you that business or it's going to be an investor. The investor, of course, is going to try to lowball you. The realtor, if their client wants it, they want to sell a house, okay? Here's the thing that I see, another mistake that for sale by owners do. Don't do this. They will go out there and they will... Okay, if an agent brings me a buyer, sure, I'll pay them 1%. Guess what? That agent's not going to bring you a buyer. So if you think you're going to be in that category of the 10% or so that sell their house themselves, offering 1% is going to put you in the 90% that ends up listing their house. So make sure you put out proper compensation that is equivalent to what the compensation of every other home that's on the MLS. You must do this or you're setting yourself up for failure. Also, if you're saying you're selling your house by yourself, really mean that and get the paperwork that's required to sell your house by yourself because here's what's gonna happen. As soon as a realtor brings a buyer to them and they make a deal, they do this. <sighs> that agent will take care of it all for me. No. There's a chance they may. There's going to be a better chance they will not because working for you puts them in what's known as an agency bind. So they don't want to create agency with you unless they're being paid because technically something goes wrong. You can sue them because they, you've created agency. So would I, I, I do something free for you where you can sue me? Even though I work free for you, most people aren't going to do that. So offer out that proper compensation. And if you want to chill and relax because someone brought you uh, a buyer, be prepared to pay them some compensation. You don't have to give them another two and a half or three percent. But what I'm saying is maybe you want to throw them like a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks to do your side of it too. So go ahead and have that in your mind. If a realtor is bringing you a buyer, they're going to want something from you or they may sit down and let you make mistakes because even though they're the professional in it, as long as they've kept their professional distance and did not create agency, you're at fault. Next, know your buyer. Let's say a buyer comes to you. What kind of loan do they have? Did you vet that loan? Uh, they bring your pre-qual letter or pre-approval letter. You need to call that lender up. Vet that lender. Some lenders are better than others. And the ones that are not as good as the others will make your life a living nightmare. So if you want to, some of these tips and how to get through this, 
go ahead and click that link below because it has all the information that you will need to sell your house yourself. Matter of fact, I may even be a little, hmm, you know what, I'm thinking about this. I have some videos on selling your house because some people just don't like uh, doing that. I mean, this is like professionally put together on how to sell your house yourself. Um, I'll probably send those out to you also. So hope this information's um, done good for you. If you have not, I want to introduce myself to you again. My name is Eric Hudson. I'm out here in Las Vegas teaching you everything there is to know about buying, selling, living and loving in Las Vegas. And if you have not, help the YouTube algorithm help have other people find this uh, video. Click the like button below. And if you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate it. And also have some other videos for you to help you out in your home buying or home selling search. Please click on one of them.